Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph Stove. And today I wanted to show you how to make something super fun and easy, especially with parties or gatherings that'll be coming up. It's something that we're not gonna have to cook. It's just a fun thing to make and put together for your guests. And it is none other than salami roses. So I'm gonna show you how to take salami and turn them into pretty roses so you can use nicely on a charcuterie board or you can just enjoy with your family for fun. So we're gonna move over to the kitchen table and I'm gonna show you how to make these beautiful and so fun salami roses. So let's get going. Alrighty, as we get ready to prepare for our little salami roses, I have a package here and this is um, hard salami and there's about 22 or 24 pieces of salami in here. So you'll need several. You can make one, you can make a bunch of them. It's kind of your choice. I open my package here. The one thing that you're gonna need for it, obviously a platter that you're gonna use it to put it on. I'm just gonna put it on a serving platter just for demonstration purposes, but you would want a pretty board and kind of arrange this with fruits or vegetables you can put in there, crackers and so forth. Several cheeses would be pretty, or it's just fun to make these and eat these as is. But you do need some jars or cups with some varying sizes. And I'm gonna use, um, some like this. This is a little juice glass from my childhood that I recovered from my dad's house um, before he passed away. So I'm going to use these because it's got a nice small lip to it. This is another little glass here that I found from my granny. And again, it's got a little small opening here. And then this, a little blast from the past here, a little 70s cup, some that my dad had, a little removable, kind of cool. But this again, it's got a small top. So each one of these are gonna end up making some different types of roses. Um, you can use like champagne flutes or something like that. I don't drink, so I don't have things like that. This is the closest I would have. But um, those will be ideal because again, you want the smaller tops for them. So to start this off, I'm gonna put my little cup here in the middle. And salami is kind of a little greasy. It's got a little fatty texture to it. And it's also got some substance. So we're just gonna come in and lay this over. And you wanna kind of press it down. I'm gonna go around. Overlap each one. Pick it up. And you can have it go further down, come up a little bit. And again, now I've got three pieces. This is gonna be the fourth. So I've completely covered, and I'm gonna press it down here. I've completely covered this little glass. So I'm gonna go around again, overlapping. Just keep working it. And again, you'll see it's an overlapping pattern. Going. And the more you add, you can kind of stop at any point after you got your second layer. I'm going to go and add a third layer because I like the multi layered effect personally. Alright, there's another one. Alright, so we've got all these, and you want to push them down here very much into the center. Give them a good press to be sure that they're pressed together nicely. Get back in the package. And to turn it out, you're just gonna simply turn it out on your board and take it off. And look at that. Now, if you want your flower opened a little bit more, you can kind of push it open just a little bit more. Varying effects. And there you go, a beautiful rose. Isn't that pretty? You can pull the petals together. Just be careful as you adjust because obviously you don't want it to come apart, but you've got just a beautiful rose for your table. So that's one size. So let's go a little smaller. Let's do this one. Get some different effects here. Now this one will go much deeper into the glass. So there's two, and probably just take about two or three to go around each side of these. 
The big thing you want to layer and press for each one. I know a couple of years ago, my girlfriends and I always go on a trip together every year. And actually last year I filmed on one of our trips. They wanted me to do a filming while we were out, so I did. And I think a couple of years before that, we got together and we had a really cool charcuterie board that we made and kind of grazed on it for several days. And this is one of the things that I went over with them and we had a great time just playing with them and making them. They're just fun. Okay, give it a good press. Turn it over and very easily remove your glass. So, so you can see this one's a little tighter as it's a different size. So you can use varying cups to have different sizes so you can see as well. Let's see, I have just enough. So let's try this one. So I'll go again. Now this one's gonna be a little bit bigger because we don't have as many slimy pieces left and that's fine. We'll still have a little different rows on this one. So I'm gonna put that in there. Let's turn this out. Pretty, three beautiful roses, all three different sizes. And this one is a little tighter, a little looser, and a little bit more narrow there, all together. I'm Stephanie, and this has been Steph Stowe. For today, we made some super easy and fun salami roses. Now I just put some vegetable crackers here around around the tray so you could just enjoy those together or you could decorate with anything that you wanted to munch on. Perfect for the big game coming up as well. So make you some roses out of some salami. And remember, firmer meats, usually the little oily ones like this, work much better. You can try with ham or turkey, but in my experience, the little firmer ones do work the best. So remember, I'm Stephanie. This has been Steph Stove. Give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button for more great content like this. And remember, Steph Stove, we're making memories one dish at a time. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.